Today we're taking a look at Centurion. Centurion's a character that released way back in year one, season two, and he's a hero that was overpowered when he first came out, but now he's went through so many changes, we're way down the line, we have so many other heroes included, and I'm gonna just show you some of the strategies that I use to be successful with this character. Also, I'm gonna show you his feats and abilities and some of the best feats you should use for Dominion and Breach. With all that being said, let's get started with the video. Today we're taking a look at Centurion. Centurion is a hybrid hero. He released in Season 2, Year 1, way back when, and he used to be the most powerful character in the game with the cutscene, but they made quite a few changes to him since then, and he's uh, kind of a different character now. I'm going to show you the best strategies that I use to do well with this character. I used to play him a lot on my alternate account, so let's get right into the video. First up, light attacks as always. We got the normal lights, as you can see. They're pretty quick, you can chain them together. They're not like shinobis though. The second one isn't guaranteed. So be careful, it can get parried. Another thing with Centurion is you can chain these into heavy attacks. As you can see, the heavy attacks are decently quick. And you can just use two heavy attacks if you would like. Centurion's a character that likes to throw jabs. As you can see, every attack that he has is really jabby, so keep that in mind, they're really short bursts. But there's a reason for him to be animated like this. He's a mix-up specialist. After you throw a light attack, you can throw a punch with X. As you can see, it'll be unblockable, but this can be dodged, so be on the lookout for that. You can actually cancel this as well to throw people off, but you have to throw the attack to throw the punch. And similar to Warden's shoulder charge, you can charge this all the way up and knock them back to get a guaranteed hit. So, I'm gonna throw an attack, charge it up, knock him to the ground, hit his back, and you'll just automatically jump on him. This does 30 damage. This is a really good move to use, especially in Dominion. It's almost reminiscent of the old cutscene. This is uh, one of the steps that you would have to do to perform this cutscene. But as you can see, I threw a lot of attack, then I threw a heavy. If I throw a light attack, hold down the heavy button, hold down X, I can then jump on them like that. As you can see, that's a huge combo if you land all of that. But of course, just like with any other character, you want to throw in some mix-ups. So you can throw a light, cancel the heavy, or you can even throw it, go into the heavy, charge it up, cancel at the last second, and maybe get a wall splat. Overall, Centurion's really good at meshing his abilities together. So, I'm going to show you a guard break ability that's really helpful. So we're going to guard break, RB, RB, and I'm going to throw it in the direction of the wall, charge up, then I can actually charge to get another hit in. But of course, if your opponent catches on, you can cancel that charge up and go straight to the guard break. Another basic ability that Centurion has is the kick. After the kick, you can get a light attack in, so keep that in mind. If you just need to finish off an opponent, kick him, light attack. Be careful though, of course, just like anything else, this kick can get dodged. And going into another ability that Centurion has is the zone. The zone is very slow. You see 12, 12, 12, but you don't have to go through with this. You can actually cancel this at any time you want. So I can throw it 12 and cancel and then cancel on the second one. But something that I like to do that throws people off sometimes, if you throw a zone, cancel, throw a zone. The animation kind of, kind of throws them off. I like the zone, cancel. Just to get that first one off, because the first zone is just like a light attack. Another ability that Centurion has, if you jump forward heavy, as you can see, I just flashed right there. That means that I'm uninterruptible. That means that you have to dodge out of the way of the move, or else you're gonna get hit regardless. Okay, so going back to the guard break, I'm gonna en enable the arena settings, and I'm gonna go to my opponent's stamina, and we're gonna just put it on. And as you can see, I'm gonna guard break, hit him, and as you can see, that took about half of his stamina away. This is really effective at draining his stamina. So I'm gonna do it again, hit him twice, and then go into the punch, and you can just keep this up. As long as you have stamina, you can constantly punch. That's why Centurion's kind of ridiculous. Centurion's a character you want to use feints as much as possible. So I'm going to throw a light attack, hold it, cancel at the last second. This will throw your opponent off while using this character, so you would want to use it as much as possible. 
because other than these bashes, Centurion doesn't really have any other alternate moves. It's just really straightforward, so keep this in mind. Alright, so after taking a look at all of Centurion's moves, let's take a look at some of his feats for 4v4 game modes. So we have Body Count, it's a passive, Killing Soldiers grants you health and stamina. This is really good for people that like to play on B. With Centurion being a hybrid hero, he can still kind of hold his own, so I would consider him a decent B hero. So this is a really good feat to throw on. We also have Bounty Hunter, it's a passive that allows you to gain health and stamina when you kill another hero. This is just a basic feat, great feat to have if you aren't on B. I would throw this on to be honest with you because the last feat is rush which is a feat that isn't really that important to me trigger to gain a movement speed for a short duration like if you're playing dominion there's no really good benefit of throwing this on but i can see if you're playing breach and you grab the banner you throw this on you can slightly run a little bit faster than the normal speed which is very helpful if you have the banner very important so if you're playing a lot of breach honestly i would throw that on but at the same time Breach has a lot of minions, so you might want to throw on body count as well. Next for the tier 2, he has Haymaker. It's a passive, punches, kicks, and throws now deal damage. As much as Centurion throws punches and kicks, this is a great feat to have just to add a little extra damage onto his attacks. Next we have Centurion's March, gaining limited stamina for a short duration. This seems like a great feat if you like to just throw attacks constantly, but in higher levels, people like to parry and just stop you in your tracks, so having a lot of stamina isn't that valuable while playing Centurion, in my opinion. Other people may have different opinions on that, but honestly, if I'm going with the tier 2, I'm probably just going to throw on Haymaker because Inspire allies and yourself deal more damage, so just fight faster. That's great as well, but nothing's beating Haymaker. For tier 3, we have Second Win. Re recover some of your health. This is a basic feat. Always good to be able to recover some of your health. Next on tier 3 we have Pugio, a projectile that deals low damage and traps an enemy for a short time. This is a great ability to use if you just want to, you know, keep somebody still and then maybe throw another ability on them or keep them still so that you can throw a guard break and throw them into like spikes or ledge them or something. Other than that, that's all that it does. Oh, it's an okay feat. Sharpened Blade is another feat that I'll You might have heard me mention this in my previous video because Shinobi actually has Sharpened Blade. Attacks inflict low damage over time. With Centurion, you know, he has pretty decently fast attacks. But then again, he is a hybrid, so he's not super slow. So a Sharpened Blade is a pretty good feat to have for the Tier 3. I would either go with the Sharpened Blade, honestly, or the Second Win. Those are my two favorite feats for Tier 3. First up on Tier 4, we have Catapult. Call a Catapult Strike to deal massive damage over an area. Well, just like most knights, they have this ability. It takes a while to develop, but once you hit with this Catapult, it does a crazy amount of damage. It's insta-kill most of the time if they're in the vicinity. So if you like to kill people from long distances in this game, or you just want to, you know, mess around with Catapult, it's a great ability. But honestly, if you want to win, honestly, I'll throw on Starward Banner. Nearby allies can continuously regain health or failing, which is one of Centurion's best abilities. Grant a shield to all alive teammates, yourself included. You just grant a whole shield to everybody that's in your lobby, that's on your team. That's amazing. It has to be, hands down, one of Centurion's best feats. But let me know down in the comments below what you think. I hope you got something from this video. With all that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video.